Well, I did it. I finally discovered what those parking lot signs mean by severe tire damage. <laughs> oh, mother! What were you thinking? How could you back your car up over those spikes? Angela, I didn't back my car up over those spikes. I backed your car up over those spikes. <laughs> mother! Hey, Mona, it's a good thing you had those ribs to drive home on. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I got it. <laughs> Bauer Residence. Hey, Mrs. Rossini, how are you? Mother, you know how I hate confrontations, but I'm not completely convinced that I should pay for new tires. I think you should. Okay. <laughs> Angela Bauer and guest Bauer. Bauer. Go right ahead. Thank you. Would you come on? Oh, well, wait a minute. Why, why, why do I have to go first? In case we get caught. Oh, like the... <laughs> Just kidding. It's a party. Lighten up. <laughs> Go right ahead, sir. Oh, thank you. I, I feel so safe. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> And turning to entertainment news, here's oh. Kirsty McNeil reporting live from the Terrace Room, where the New York Committee for the Arts is holding its gala party. Oh. Deborah, New York's glitterati are anxiously awaiting the arrival of the guest of honor, Frank Sinatra. Wait a minute. Did you say Frank's here? He, he, he's, he, he arrived? He... <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, the rich and famous are kicking up their heels. Mother. It's, it's my mother. Here it is, folks, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Santa Claus float. I don't see Santa yet, but here's one of his elves. <laughs> That's a mighty cute elf. But where's the big guy himself? Oh, here's another elf. No, that's the same elf. <laughs> Mother, I didn't think that there were women who still acted like that. And that Tony could be so taken by it, so unenlightened. I mean, he liked it. <laughs> so what you are saying to me is that men like to be pampered? <laughs> what a discovery. Angela, does Cosmo know about this? <laughs> now I know how Ma Barker felt when her boys came back from a job. <laughs> Come on, gang. We're right back. Uh, We're right well, now. tell us all about it. And don't leave out the disgusting parts, huh? He's a frog's in Wormy's bed. Oh, right. And he put a humongous snake in his footlocker. Oh, right, Bauer. You're awesome. Awesome. Yeah. 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 You're really sneaky and rotten. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, it runs in the family. <laughs> Look at them. They're just playing. Hey, give me a key to... <laughs> He's not vicious? Of course not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just discriminating. Hey, hey, bro, hey, bro. Oh, seems to like me, huh? Hey, she's all right once you get to know her. That's Angela. Hey, let's go down to Richard Wine's house. I thought you were afraid of him. Not anymore. Hey, 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 hey. Just say the secret word. Angela! <laughs> Is that cute? Hey, cool. Where did you get him, Mother? Does he have papers? Oh, he doesn't need them. He's housebroken. <laughs> Oh, Angela. I mean, what was I going to do? Mr. Brubaker upstairs was going to be thrown out of his apartment if he didn't get rid of him. Well, how come they're letting you stay? Well, they're not. <laughs> Uh-oh. Eviction City. Eviction? Mm. Mother, that means you're getting thrown out. Didn't go to graduate school for nothing, <laughs> did you? <laughs> well, where are you going to stay? Well, I... What are all those suitcases doing out there? <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to stay here. I never thought of that. <laughs> <gasps> Mom. 
mother. Angela. Oh, you still remember each other's names. <laughs> I must have made a wrong turn. Which way is it to the health club? <laughs> the health club? Is she a riot? Is she... She's... <laughs> After all she's been through, she hasn't lost a sense of humor. I have. Who'll notice? <laughs> oh, here's 50 cents for the shower I took, and uh, I made a phone call. Here's my dime. Mother. Yes? Phone call is 20 cents now. <laughs> Put it on my bill. Mother. Yes. I was just talking to Tony. About what? About you and your new beau. Benedict Arnold. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't rat you out. She figured this one herself. Mother, I'm thrilled. Angela, I'm stunned. <laughs> I think it's just what you need. God, the hospital didn't switch babies on me. <laughs> Mother, you can stop sneaking around. I'm with you on this. And I think we need to get this relationship out in the open, into the sunlight where it can grow and flourish. Oh, you're right. And there's no time like the present, huh? Listen, everybody, guess what? I have been keeping a secret, which has made me a little crazy. Er. <laughs> So, in the interest of mental health, I want you all to know I have a boyfriend. Isn't that cute? A boyfriend. <laughs> and he's right here. Cute couple, huh? You know, Wally, as it turns out, I, I'm going to be free on Saturday night. Or uh, even tonight, if you'd like to do something. Oh, yeah. Well, ac actually, tomorrow would be a lot better for me, because tonight I, I have plans, OK? You, you have plans? <laughs> well, there you are, gorgeous. <laughs> Wally, let's blow this pop stand. Well, good night, Tony. Good night, Angela. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Can you believe my mother? Poor Wally. Poor, vulnerable Wally, shattered by a divorce, on the rebound from me. He falls right into her clutches. That's one way of looking at it. Is that Grandma leaving with Wally? Yes, sport. You're right, Sam. Wally dumped Mom for Grandma. It's just another way of looking at it. <laughs> on the other hand, if it uh, make you feel any better, you got anything you want to put up as collateral? Act of good faith? Maybe the necklace? I don't know. <laughs> you can't win unless you're in. Lady, you're holding up the parade. Here we go. There. Money plays. Yeah. OK, baby, come on. Bring back that luck. And yeah. row. Perhaps. Oh. I'm down. I don't believe this. Now I have lost Angela's diamond necklace. Well, I got to get that back. I can loan you some more money so you can win it back. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, but I don't have anything else to give you for collateral. Mother, want some saltwater taffy? It's freshly pulled. <laughs> no, thank you, dear. What's, uh, what's wrong with your neck? Well, uh, Jason and I have a bet about how the Egyptians were buried. Does this look right to you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, look, I'm gonna turn in. So if you guys want to go see Wayne Newton, here's keys to the car. How much will you front me for an 86 Jag? <laughs> I only have 5,000. Great, I'll take it. Here we go. Come hey, on. Mona, how you oh. doing? Holy ma... How'd you get up so much money, Mona? I pawned Angela's jag. <laughs> Funny lady. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on. Seven. Hey. Craps. Oh. A loser. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's all gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Mona. Is this the one for the trunk? <laughs> 
I knew we should have gone to Disney World. Billy, it's time to go to sleep. It's 10 o'clock. You should be in bed. I should be in bed. What do you, what do you say? Five more minutes. <laughs> you said that two hours ago. This time I mean it. <laughs> Oh, mother. Oh, mother. Just in the nick of time. We have a little boy here who doesn't want to go to bed. Maybe you can help. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll give it a try. Billy. Sweetie. Go to bed. Or the boogeyman's going to come and eat your face. What's the boogeyman? Well... Think of Angela without makeup. No. That is avoidance. You see, you have to nip these things in the bud or else they'll fester like a big, ugly boil that you have to prick with a pin. Lovely, Mother, lovely. Oh, thank you, Angela. Angela, Angela, this is just going to take a minute. See, now you feel foolish and, and violated because of what happened, see? And Tony, Tony feels embarrassed and guilty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, you know, I really would like to get off the hook here. Oh, I'll bet you would. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm going to be the director. All right, Professor? All right, Mona, but hurry. <laughs> All right. Now, Angela, let's uh, say that you walked in on Tony. But I didn't, Mother. Well, well, let's say you did. Uh, Tony, you are in the bathtub taking a nice bath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so why don't you do that for us? Oh, Mother, this is just ridiculous. Oh, Angela, get with the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Tony, make it real. What what do you do when you're taking a bath, huh? Oh. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm really into this. You know, my fingers are starting to wrinkle here. Good. Now the bath is over. Oh, Mona, I just got in the tub. Get out of the bath and start drying off, huh? Right. Yeah, there. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Angela, here. You are approaching the door, you see. You have no idea what's on the other side, hmm? Okay, start your move. No, I, I don't know. I feel silly. Come on. See, this is the moment of truth. This is the bathroom door. Now, you are going to open the door and walk in. Go get him. Hey! <laughs> What are you laughing at? I can see through your towel. Why don't you knock? Well, why don't you lock the door? Because I don't have the key. Oh, yeah? Here. Oh, oh. Gotcha! <laughs> you did that on purpose, Angela. Yeah. And that's it. Now, don't you feel better, Angela? No. 